Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Dewan. First off, we reached 500 subscribers. I've been doing YouTube for about three months, and already this has been a amazing experience. To know that I'm able to utilize a platform to give back and to help people, which is something I love to do. Recently, I was asked on LinkedIn about how do I stay focused when I'm studying for a certification. That's an excellent question. And one of the things I want to mention is not necessarily about focus. It's about embracing the journey. This is a long journey that everybody can embark on, whether you're black, white, male, female, it does not matter. We all can travel down this journey called information technology. Whether you want to be in security, whether you want to be in networking, whether you want to do Cisco, Microsoft, databases, programming, it does not matter. This journey is a journey that we all can embark on. One of the things that I want to stress is not necessarily focus, but to embrace the journey. Because no matter what you do in life, if you don't love what you do, if you don't embrace the process, it's going to make life miserable. One of my struggles in life has been my weight. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You know, at one point I was up to like 345 and this is after the military. It was kind of embarrassing. You know, now I'm probably down to about 275, but regardless me losing weight has been a process that I never embraced. One of the things that I did embrace was providing for my family, um, getting these certifications, making the people around me, uh, making their lives better, uh, and just trying to live the best life that I can. Those are the things that I embrace. Now, I say that to help you because if you're studying for your CCNA, CCMP, um, MCSA, A+, SEC+, if you're working on learning um, Python, Java, it does not matter. Whatever you're trying to learn, whatever field you want to travel down, whatever job you desire, you have to embrace the process. Because when you walk into those interviews, you're going to get a lot of no's. Maybe not all of you. Some of you may often get yeses and you get hired. But many of us <laughs> get a lot of no's when it comes to interviews, callbacks, and all that stuff. But that's okay. It does not matter. It only takes one job to change your life, to give you the experience that you need, to give you the hope that you need, the opportunity to change your life, to put you in a position to where you can be where you desire to be and show you how to get there. So I make this video not to show you how to give up focus, not to discourage you, not to be negative or anything, but to say, embrace the process. If you're studying, if you failed an exam, it's okay. The next time you take the exam, you just know it even better. And knowing the information even better will help you when you walk into that interview room and you sit down in front of that hiring manager, that HR representative, the panel that you may face, you will know that information. Sometimes I fail my ICND2 and I fail my um, CCMP switches now. So what? I mean, at the end of the day, I went back in there and I passed them. Was I discouraged? Yes. But when I finally got successful in IT, is when I embrace the process and just realizing that, man, this stuff is really fun. I see how this works. I started networking with my home network modem and router to see how really NAT works, port forwarding, and all that good stuff. And then I started building my own vCenter Labs or vSphere Labs, my own Windows 2008 Server Labs, 2012 Server Labs, and just really started having fun learning. That's what we have to do with my channel. That's my goal, is to help you embrace this process because learning is best when you want to learn what you're actually trying to learn. 
when you actually embrace it and just embrace the journey because no, it's not easy. Subnetting sucks. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Subnetting is no fun. And once you pass it on the exam in real life, you can use a calculator, but you still have to understand subnet is because there is a basic principle behind learning subnetting. A lot of this information that you learn is no fun, but in order to be successful, I believe this is just me that you have to embrace the process of learning. It's with anything that you do in life. Embrace it. Enjoy it. Because me, when I was studying for my CCMP, my CCNA, it was hard on my family. You know, <laughs> I failed my exams. I was in a terrible mood. But it's not fair to my family for me to get stressed and take it out on them. And it's not fair to your family for you to get stressed and take it out on them. Even though you're trying to work to better your life and their lives and everybody around you lives. It's not fair to them. So in other words, even though you're up late night studying, you may be going into work late, early, whatever, trying to learn this information, embrace it. Because if you do, your life will be a lot better along this journey. With that being said, if you guys ever have any questions, um, please feel free to hit me up on LinkedIn. I got a number of videos that I'm going to do for people that's asked me how to upgrade Windows 10, 32-bit to 64-bit. Ask me about GNS3, um, RIP, EIGRP, OSPF, ACLs. And also my um, part three to subnetting like a boss. Congratulations again to Chris G for uh, winning the CCNA book. I plan to do another giveaway this month. Be looking for it at the end of the month. So we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another CCNA book or what I'm going to do. But what I want to do is do something that's really going to help and add value to your lives. So we'll see how that works out and how that pans out. If you guys got any ideas on a giveaway I could do, um, you know, nothing too costly or anything like that. Um, please hit the comment section below. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn and also on um, Twitter. My Twitter handle is dlight330, and I appreciate all you guys' support. Like I said, this has been an amazing experience. Um, the first three months, we're already at 500 subscribers, and I've been having so much fun. I'm doing my best to embrace this process you know, put my family first because that's what's important. But also pay attention to you all's wants, needs, because my channel is for you. You know, that's why I created it. Again, thanks for your support. It's much appreciated. Peace.